For cities like Richmond, street lighting can be a, a big operating cost, both in the electricity that it uses and all the maintenance and, and changing over the lights when they die. So it is a really good opportunity for the city to reduce its operating costs and to be more sustainable in their community. The city is constantly and consistently looking for ways to provide services in the most efficient way possible. LED street lighting has developed significantly over the last 10 years. It has become more economical, it is more efficient uh, on an energy use basis which helps reduce energy costs. It's reliable. It also reduces the amount of wasted lights. The City of Richmond has changed out the street lighting fixtures because it's a council priority to replace and renew infrastructure uh, when it's needed and a large percentage of the street lighting fixtures in the City of Richmond are now reaching their end of life. You know, and they're inefficient compared to uh, newer technologies. So the city is looking to place those fixtures, you know, in the most effective way possible. We need a crew of two people to install lights. One in the bucket to do the installation and remove the light, and another person on the ground to take out of the box and put up safety. These new LED lights are supposed to last 15 to 20 years, while the old HPS lamps only lasted four years. The biggest benefit for the city to renew its lighting infrastructure is the easier light on the eyes on the road and better lighting on the road overall. The city is anticipating about a 40 to 50 percent reduction in street lighting energy use for the areas that it's replacing. In addition, the city partnered with BC Hydro, who are supporting this LED replacement plan, and we're very happy to have them on board. Richmond's been a really good partner with BC Hydro, and they've always been on the leading edge of trying to be super efficient and sustainable, so they're just a natural partner. People in Richmond and the city of Richmond have been great proponents of conservation and sustainability. In the future, we really look forward to working with Richmond on new projects and new innovations that we're both interested in pursuing, and we think that Richmond's a great place for us to really lead this cultural change around efficiency and conservation.